Abby, my, my concern is this whole process, especially in Alaska. Um, under the Alaska National Interest Land Claims Act and ELCA, you're aware of that act, aren't you? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, you know, this act provides sufficient protection, this is Section 101, for the national interest in the scenic, natural, culture, and environmental values on public lands in Alaska. At the same time, provides adequate opportunity for satisfaction of the economic and social needs of the state of Alaska. Its people, accordingly, the designation and disposition of public lands in Alaska pursuant to this act are found to represent a proper balance between the reservation of the National Conservation System units and those public lands necessary and appropriate for more intensive use and disposition. And thus, Congress believes the need for future legislation designating new conservation system units, new national conservation areas, or new national recreation areas have been abbreviated thereby. Would you agree with that? I would say, Congressman, that the ANILCA also recognizes the Secretary may identify areas in Alaska which he determines is suitable for wilderness. No. Section 13, 1326, no future executive branch action with withdrawals more than 5,000 acres of action from public lands within the state of Alaska shall be effective. In fact, the wildlands, de wildlands designation is an administrative withdrawal, and that's against the law. As you, my, my governor is going to sue you, and I think he will win. You're trying to circumvent the law. There's you have 86 million acres of land. 56 million acres in Alaska have been set aside already. There is enough, as I said before, of wildlands in Alaska. And what you're trying to do now is stir up the pot to make sure that you can have another opportunity with your administration to take away the rights of Alaskans and this nation to develop resources on those lands. Because you took the rest of the right in this room. You're trying to circumvent. There is no difference between wild and wilderness. None. And I listen to you talk in your administration. I listen to that lawyer on that end. And if I could saw it, you could work. If you could work one-on-one -on -one without interference from outside interests, because you will be sued. You will not have any development on BLM lands. All what of you say, it will happen. You'll be sued. I watch it time and time again. Because you are circumventing this law. And when we get done with you, hopefully, in Section 1320, not with any standard provisions at all, 603 of the Federal Land Policy Act of 1970 shall not apply to any lands in Alaska. That's the law. You agree or disagree? I disagree. You disagree? And you're a lawyer? I'm not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. What did your lawyer say about that? They disagree with you. Oh, well, that's fine. That's the administration. I might agree with Mr. Rob right here. I want to find out who instigated this program. You didn't instigate it. You would take credit for it? I will take credit for it. You take credit for it. And did you consult your lawyers? We did. And they disagree with what I have to say? They did. And, Mr. Chairman, I suggest one thing. I would like to say this committee ought to file a lawsuit, too, because this is against the law. This is the law. And you circumvented it. Thumb their nose at the Congress. That's what you did. That's what you're doing right now. Thumb your nose at the Congress. Because that's the law right here, written. I was here when this law was written. This is what Ted Stevens wrote. This is what I wrote. Is this what the Congress agreed to? And your administration stinks right now because you're going against the law. Follow the law once in a while and you get a lot more done. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Title, title of the gentleman had not expired, but he yields back. The gentleman.